the norm is constant everywhere, and in the PML is absolutely perfectly zero. But if we want to see the Y component of the field, then we we'll type plot, and that is EY. Okay, so in frequency domain, we have to tell you what frequency it is. We didn't have any frequency. That's why we didn't see the train. <coughs> we should have seen a wave. Uh, the norm is constant, but EY changes because it's a wave. So we should have, we should have seen that. And we didn't because we don't have the wave here. So the speed of light is a console knows about it. You can write it if you want. One you can write just three times three e eight, and then lambda has to be in meters. Enter. Okay, it's happy now. Dependent variables, compute two selected. Let's see if we can see the field train now. Thirty-two nanometers. That was a problem. <coughs> we put five thirty-two meters because it's in SI unity. Understands meters right away. It's five thirty-two nanometers. Now let's do one more. Compute two selected, so it only computes. It goes down and computes only up to here. It doesn't go into the solver. Actually, it just compiles the equations. So it only looks at the initial field that we're putting in which is a background field. There it is. So because a wave length is 530, and this is about like 200 and something nanometers, maybe like 250 nanometers, 240. Uh, we don't see a full wavelength, but we see the wavelength there. All right, so, so now okay. we want to uh, solve the whole problem. In the log, we can see everything that has happened of the machine, and that is how it scatters. So it scatters like a dipole uh, because the field was coming in like this in the y direction, and it just makes a big dipole. You can see here, parameter value is this frequency. We could have input more frequencies, and then here you would see a list of frequencies, and then you can plot for different frequencies. Uh, we can see that it notice it sees the glass. It's wrapping around the glass a little bit. If it was air, it would just be perfectly symmetric, top and bottom. But because it's glass, it's not perfectly symmetric. And then we see that the PMLs work perfectly. Uh, the field doesn't enter very much. So we can change. Uh, we can come here to parametric and say user define and say lambda. And parameter values is going to be 370 nanometers. And two different wavelengths. Well, you can input a whole list, you can input a range here, but it takes a while to calculate, so I'm gonna just do this too. And I think it's actually faster if we turn on the direct solver instead of the iterative solver. Uh, let's see, let's 
so. Solving for the parameter lambda equals 370 nanometers. Uh, now there is no progress because there are no iterations. It's uh, using a direct solver which finds the inverse of the matrix right away on the linear system of equations. Whereas the iterative just iterates. It makes a, a first guess and then from there calculates, makes a second guess and calculates the error by subtraction between the second step and the first step and so forth. Step i plus 1 minus step i until the convergence parameters that you set are reached. But in this case it just finds the inverse right away. So if your computer has enough memory to do it, this is faster. But usually in 3D problems, like if I do a finer mesh, it can get expensive so then the computer runs out of memory. So it's almost done. It calculated first for 370 nanometers, and now it's calculating for 530 nanometers. So here it plotted for 370, and then we see that the PMLs do work. Um, it's is absorbing here and the BMLs were I don't remember how big. In geometry we define the layer of sphere to uh, 30 nanometers. Only 30 nanometers is absorbing already. So we could uh, maybe make this smaller and then we save memory on mesh. <coughs> so 370 um, I, I selected it specifically because I know it's a resonance. So well around 370, 360 and it scatters more. And then here you can select the other parameter, plot, and then it scatters left. But still the PML, you can see that is zero inside the PML. Zero is green, so it's zero inside the PML. It was very intense scattering over here, uh, but the PML was able to get it close to zero it, uh, as it decayed. That's it for now.